Hello everybody, watch them Wonders 2022, our last day here, and uh, Jean-Marc Pontreux, my dear friend, CEO of Panerai, is my guest. So, Jean-Marc, it's been a long time, huh? Yes, it's a long time. We haven't got the chance to sit down like that physically, yeah. and uh, yeah. since three years, we were doing these uh, teams on Zoom, and uh, finally, <laughs> we are back to a normal, a yeah. normal life. Yeah, yeah. So, comparing to... Uh, these two years and after uh, this exhibition. So what is the biggest difference for you? I mean, that, that period, everything was digital. How did you organize yourself and what do you feel now? Well, first, we are happy to see people back. That's uh, the, the very first uh, the very first remark. The second thing is that um, it was intermediate. All this digital period was to allow us to continue our business. Yes. Uh, but it was not a normal business environment. So now we are slightly but surely back to normal. We still have a couple of stores which are closed in the world, uh, but we are back to normal production, retail, e-commerce, or dealers, whom most of them are here except uh, a couple of Chinese uh, countries like China, Taiwan, Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are, we are coming regularly back to, to normal. And um, Panerai has survived very well to this period yeah, of uncertainty. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you have seen the number of people we have here and in the Watches and Wonders, you have seen the new world of Panerai, which is an underwater world. Uh, so Panerai is in good shape. On the divers program we have this year, fits exactly what Panerai has been historically been in the watch industry. Yeah. Uh, divers brand for, with a very strong masculine uh, root. Yeah. In 2019, I was so happy it was your first year and we saw those submersibles with a recycled material, boxes, everything. And uh, the story continues. Now we have Quaranta Quattro. It's uh, very much DNA of Panerai. So wh wh what would you like to say about this new... Well, you know, as you say, rightfully, Panerai entered the submersible world by the 47. Yes. We have had it a couple of years uh, ago, the 42. And many of the fans of Panerai, the Paneristi, the collectors were asking me, when do you launch finally the 44? Including we, me, by the way. Including you. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I remember very well where you were telling me there is a big gap between the 42 and 47 on 44, which is the emblematic size at Panerai, because, you know, the Luminor, which is our bestseller, is having a, a, critical, a critical mass in the, in the 44 millimeter segment. So we have it this year. Um, and it's developed in different themes. So this is the umbrella concept. And then we have the E-Steel, and then we have the Bianco, and then we have the Carbotech, and then we have the Luna Rosa. So all different stories and there's the same umbrella yeah. of the submersible Quaranta Quattro. Very nice, very nice. While we are celebrating these beautiful uh, watches, uh, we have also perpetual calendar panel. Yes. So uh, I was talking to our friend Alessandro yesterday and uh, really that would be not even uh, acceptable for me to talk about perpetual calendar panel I watch, but it is really amazing also that the transparent dial, you see everything moving inside. So uh, wh where is the story coming? Um, the story here is a, is a different one than the submersible. The idea was many of our customers were asking us how we can have also at Panerai more complications, okay? We are not a complication brand. That's why, by the way, the perpetual calendar mm -hmm. has been treated in a way that it remains a very yeah. clean dial in terms yeah. of readability. It remains a Panerai yeah, watch. Simplicity is still there. Exactly. Yeah. So the way we have approached the higher-end segment has been to increase the number of models with precious metal, uh, like platinum and like gold has to be increased our complication, what I call the classic complication, like perpetual calendar. Mm -hmm. Okay, and on the other side, we have the more disruptive complication, like what you have been probably seeing with the Brabus skeleted, exactly. uh, the skeleted automatic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, on these three pillars, precious materials, perpetual calendar, skeleted automatic, are the pillars of Panerai for the higher end price segment. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so uh, there is something which is getting more and more important in the watch industry, second-hand market. Yes. Now we see that Panerai has a kind of uh, collaboration or project, so how do you call it? So with yeah, yeah, well, we are hosting here our friends of Watchfinder mm -hmm. um, for, I would say, um, a couple of reasons. The number one is that at Panerai we recognize we need a a specialist in that business if we want to be credible in a short-term period of time. And Watchfinder has shown 
the last uh, 15 years how uh, good they can be, professional yeah, they can professional. be uh, in, uh, in, in operating that uh, second-hand business. That's number one. Number two is that Panera is already for WatchFinder one of their top operators. So we are already, they, they operate a lot of Panera on their, on their business. Huh? Yeah. So this is one of the top five brands of people who come uh, buy Panera or sell their Panera to buy new Panera. After four days, I think they are very happy of customers because they show here Products in some restaurants yeah, yeah, yeah. we don't so have we anymore. Mm -hmm. But products we don't have anymore in our assortment. Yeah, good. It's a good <laughs> complement because here we show only new products, but here they show products we don't have anymore in our assortment. So you have these 14 different submersibles, which are all models that we don't have anymore in our assortment. But they're also certified by uh, Panerai, right? But they are certified yeah, uh, yeah. by Panerai. They are, of yeah. course, authentic yeah. products and so on and so on. So you have all the guarantee of the world of Panerai to support our WatchFinder very friends. Good. Very good. Good news, actually, for us. Uh, okay, your boot is unbelievable, really nice decorated. Uh, congratulations. It's really by far the best one, according to me. And Thank you. That, that, that is not a detail because, you know, the high competition of 37 other brands on that, on that uh, world. And for us, it's always important, that world, to um, uh, 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 position Panerai as a brand which is staged among many of the other operators on what is the message we want to deliver within the watch community, the suppliers, the agencies, our trade partners, the media world, our paneristi, uh, all the collectors, fans of the brand. What means Panerai in 2022? And that's why we are investing yeah, so much good, in good. this type of uh, spectacular uh, appearance. Yeah, very much connected to this. Uh, I saw also the boutique uh, in Geneva, yes. the new concept. It is also amazing. So the, tell the, us your this opinion is the same about that. creative director which created that boutique, that the one who did the show here. And the idea behind that was how we can create a new way to express Panerai. So we don't change the brand. The brand is a brand is a brand. The product is a hero within our brand. Yeah, of course. So, but how you reorganize the relationship on the flow of the customer within our store. That's why we have a lot of innovations. Free access watches. We don't have any more of these protection on our watches. It's mm -hmm. a free access watches concept. Um, displays on screens, which you can have according to your taste. Is it ladies? Is it divers watch? Is it classic? Is it complication? With one click, you can have all the different screens according to your point of interest. You have the Laboratorio di Idee. What means Laboratorio di Idee for our customers with a choice of different materials? Mm. You have our partnerships like uh, the Luna Rosa support. We have a collector's corner with all the former editions at Panerai uh, that we have in a dedicated corner, plus a share of our museum with all the historical editions which are here to display but not for sale. And finally, we have our bar, uh, which is uh, the uh, an Italian island uh, in that boutique, which is serving probably the best cappuccino in town. <laughs> so best way to communicate with the end user, according to me. So uh, thank you very much, Jean-Marc. Actually, in 2019, uh, in our uh, interview, I invited you to Turkey, but unfortunately, that was that a really was terrible possible, period. No, but, no, none uh, of us I continue to promise you yeah. that uh, as soon as we have a good reason to launch a new product or make yeah, a customer yeah. event, I would be very pleased to come to yeah. visit you. Okay, thank you very much. Hope to see you again soon here, there, but mainly in Istanbul. If possible. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. It has been a pleasure thank to you host you again much. here. Thank you.